Hey CMHD.TV fans, I'm Carter and I'm going to take you through the uh, the four mainstream Cherry MX switches. That's going to be the red, brown, blue, and black switches today and I'll go over their actuation forces and uh, what makes them different and what uh, games or whatnot that they would best be used for. All right, first we're going to go over the Cherry MX red switch. As you can see here, just like all our uh, CM Storm keyboards that have the red switch, it's going to have the red back plate uh, accenting the red switch itself. The red switch itself is actually the lightest of the linear bunch. It's 45 grams of actuation force and the linear action is a smooth transition the entire way through. So you're not going to have any tactile bump or clicky feel while the switch actuates. The actuation point is at two millimeters down while the bottom mount point is four millimeters total. This is a perfect switch for FPS players as you can do the strafing very, very easily, as well as a wonderful typing switch due to the light actuation force at 45 grams. Next up, we're gonna go over the Cherry MX Blue. It's one of the most common switches from Cherry as well as one of the most easy to define as a mechanical switch. You get a lot of tactile feedback, but also a lot of audible clicking as well. That clicking happens at two millimeters and at 50 grams of actuation force. So you're gonna have about a five gram actuation force heavier than both the red and the brown. It's a wonderful switch to type on because you get the audible feedback uh, as well as the tactile bump. So you can see without their visual representation, you're able to know that you hit your actuation point. Next up, we have the Cherry MX Brown switch. This is where we recommend all of our new mechanical users to start with. It's basically the best middle of the road switch out there. It has a 45 gram actuation force like the Cherry Red, but what makes this switch unique is it does have the tactile bump with a less audible click, unlike the blue. It's a very light sound when you hit that bump. It's a wonderful switch to start with. It's also fantastic for RTS as you're able to feel the actual tactile point without having to have visual representation on screen. Next up, we have the Cherry MX Black Switch. This is one of the heaviest switches from the Cherry family. What makes it different uh, from some of the others is it is a linear switch, but it requires 60 grams of actuation force to hit that point. It's quite a bit more actuation than all the other three switches we've gone over, so that can cause finger fatigue if you're using this as a straight typing keyboard. On the other hand, the return rate and the reactiveness of the switch is phenomenal, which makes it a perfect FPS game uh, keyboard, as well as racing, like with cars and whatnot, you're able to actually have that return rate for strafing, which is perfect. All right, CMHD.TV fans, I hope everyone has a better understanding of how the Cherry family works on the switch types. Uh, until next time, I'm Carter.